friends, thanks for joining me. Welcome to Tea Tuesday. I am having some coffee in this gorgeous tumbler that was given to me by my Aunt Donna, and it says, but first beach, and I couldn't agree more, right? So I don't know about you guys, but it's been hot here in Florida, super, super hot. As a matter of fact, it's been so hot that my pool's been warm, and my pool is never warm. So um, anyway, that says something. There's usually a chill in there, and there's absolutely no chill at all. So anyway, um, I want to talk to you today about a lot of things, and one of those things is my road to 2,000 subbies, and I'm going to call it uh, like road to 2,000 subby challenge giveaway or something like that, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a giveaway. We're also going to have a little challenge. But before I get into that, let me just tell you that Tea Tuesday is sponsored by or brought to you by or hosted by uh, Patty of Life with Patty and our friend Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. So uh, it goes on every Tuesday. It's open collab so you can join in if you would like to. Like I said, I have so much to share with you today, but let's start off with our 2K, our road to 2K. Let's see, I wrote it down. Hold on. <laughs> our road to 2K subby giveaway and challenge. So that's what we'll call it. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. First of all, I usually do my challenges when I'm much closer to my target. But I wanted to do this now because it's August now. So I wanted to do it now before the holidays get any closer because, you know, things get a little wild and crazy during the holidays. So I just figured, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just going to jump on it right now, do it and then that way, you know, I can have the holidays a whole separate thing and I just think that that'll work out better. So, here's what I was thinking. You guys know I've been really into making journals lately, and um, so I was thinking what we would do is, for the challenge part of the giveaway, there's a few things I want you to do. Number one, I would like for you to comment on a theme of a journal that you'd like to see me create. Number two, I would like for you to send me a piece of ephemera, just one piece of ephemera. Uh, some of some of you, maybe if you don't know what that is, that could be a tag that goes in a journal. It could be a twinchy. It could be a cluster. It could be a postcard. Um, it could be just anything that I can use in a journal, basically. And so what I'd like you to do, if you can, don't go out and buy anything special, but let's pretend you were like, I'd like to see you make a mermaid journal, which actually is on my list. Um, then if you could send me a piece of ephemera in the theme that you suggested, that would be awesome. If you don't have that sort of ephemera in that theme, don't buy it. That's okay. Just send me anything. Uh, but it would be kind of cool if whatever you suggested, if you sent me a piece, then the most pieces that I get of a particular theme is the journal that I will make. And then that will be included in the giveaway. So that's what I'm thinking. All right, the next thing I'd like you to do is, number three, I'd like you to say you'd like to be entered. And um, also, if you could do a VR, that would be awesome. And I've never done points during a giveaway, but I think uh, we'll go ahead and do that just because if you do a VR, then, you know, I'll put your name in the hat twice. And I, I just, I think that'd be great. Um, and I would so appreciate it. And, and if you can't do one, that's okay. No, no big deal. Uh, let's see. You need to be 18 years old and a visible subscriber. The rest of the rules and regulations, according to YouTube, I will go ahead and put in my description box. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But everything I just said here, I'll put in my description box so you can refer to that. And, um, oh, actually, we're going to have it starting today. And we're going to have it run. I think I'm going to let it go for six weeks just in case anybody from overseas wants to participate. And they can, you know, you, you can send flat mail, which only is about a buck um, from overseas. So... I'm going to let it go till September 13th, and I figure I'll go ahead and do the drawing on that weekend, which would be from Friday the 16th to Sunday the 18th, somewhere in there. So that's the plan for that. All right. Okay. All right, so another announcement that I want to make is you guys know I've been doing, uh, I have been hosting 
Tassel Tuesday for a while now. It, it could, we, we might even be approaching two years. I'm not even sure. I know it's over a year. Maybe it's a year and a half. Anyway, um, you guys know I love to make tassels, and, and I do. But I'm going to not host Tassel Tuesday anymore. I'm going to still make tassels. And I'll still use the hashtag Tassel Tuesday because chances are I might as well just upload any tassels that I make on Tuesday because it's fun and cute to do Tassel Tuesday. But I'm not going to host it anymore. But uh, keep using the hashtag because I would love to continue to see what you guys create as far as tassels go. So at any rate, Tassel Tuesday is still a thing. I just won't be hosting it anymore. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Friends, another thing I want to mention to you guys is hashtag swap and sew. Very similar to the hashtag swap and glue that we used to do, but we're using fabric and we are sewing it. You can hand stitch it, you can sew it on your machine. I'm really using my machine for the things that I am making. So we are going to be moving into the October installment of Swap and Sew. Uh, our August one will run on August 6th. So if you would like to participate in Swap and Sew, leave a comment at my community post. Carol of Carol's Recrafted Boutique is, uh, we are co-hosting this together. So you can go to Carol's and leave a comment, or you can come to mine and leave a comment, uh, just saying that you would like to participate and see if you can find a swap partner. If everybody will go to the community post, then you guys can kind of find each other on there and that would be awesome. Our videos showing our creations will upload on October 8th. So again, if you want to participate, check out our community tabs, leave a comment, read the other comments to see if you can find a partner. And then I have some VRs I want to do, but before I get into the VRs, I just wanted to say, um, I, you know, lately uh, my husband and I, we traveled and we were gone for, um, I don't know, uh, over a week. And then we came back and I had a week to get my things together and then we traveled again to take Andrew to Orlando for a Taekwondo tournament that he was uh, in. And so basically it was like a month of just different things, traveling and stuff like that. And I really, and then I got home and I'm preparing for, Carl retired, so we're preparing for a, um, a little celebration for him. So I've been cleaning my house and I really started to feel like very disconnected from you guys. And that's a, a weird feeling for me because I've been on YouTube for a couple years now and um, I don't usually feel like that. Um, now sometimes we have friends that we can't watch every single one of their videos because there's not enough hours in the day. Um, but you know, but we, we do eventually catch up, right? And, but I, I just felt just out of sorts with it. So I thought, well, the way to fix that is for me to come on and talk to you guys face to face and also to join in some, um, collaborations and giveaways and celebrations and all these things that you guys have going on. So that's what I did this week. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do some VRs. I want to share with you uh, some of the channels that I want to support in their, their giveaways and collaborations and all that good stuff. So let's get started on that. All right. So our first VR is going to be Crafting with Fury. And she is doing her Road to 2K and Birthday Celebration. I think hers is wrapping up very quickly. It might Today might even be the last day. I'm, I'm not even 100% sure about that, but I still want to give her a shout out. So Crafting with Fury, go check her out. And then we have Vividly on Paper is doing her second annual baggy challenge. And that is Crystal with Vividly on Paper. And I love this challenge because people decorate a bag and send it to her and they have to put a little something in the bag. And it's it's fascinating to see what people come up with. So that's a blast. Go check that out. And then we've got Vagabond Crafters Birthday Challenge. And I think that actually ends today as well. And I'm sorry I'm so late on that. But even though it's ending, you can still go over and check out her channel. And I wanted to give her a shout out and support her. And then we have It's a Deal. She is doing her annual birthday challenge giveaway and so just go over I'm gonna link all these videos in my description box just go you know click the link and you can go over to her channel and check out what she's got going on and then we have Lonnie's crafts okay so Lonnie's crafts did a celebration and I think it was her YouTube celebration I can't remember for sure it's ended 
and it ended like a week or so ago. But I felt so bad that I didn't get to join in. I, I just, it was, I had too much going on, so much change happening, and I, I couldn't make it happen. I tried, and I just couldn't make it happen. So I did end up sending her a little something, but I'm definitely giving her a shout out today because I want to support Lonnie. She, um, she used to do Tassel Tuesday, and she was a great supporter of that, and so I want to give her a shout out. And then we have Rosemary You Rock Art, and she is having her third annual YouTube challenge. So, and hers is index, well, I say index cards, but it's actually any card that's three by five, which happens to be the size of a small index card. So, um, I am joining in on that one and want to give her a shout out. Again, we'll link her video in my description box so you can head over there check out all the specific details to each one of these videos so that you know exactly what you need to do to participate I figure I'll give you guys a slight craft room update actually you see that pillow right there my sister Andy got that for me it's perfect in my craft room that's my sofa I have in my craft room this right here this black and white that's my little um, poncho that I use because my air condition blows so hard in here so but that's not really what I want to show you I want to show you the pillow but actually I also want to show you this stool check it out so this stool doesn't have a back but it is fit to be ergonomically correct and it's super comfy it's on wheels I love having my stool on wheels I can just slide from one area to another and it's fantastic I'm gonna turn this thing to its side so you can see it see how it is I wonder if that's a good angle or not yeah, I think you can kind of see it's almost like a saddle, but it's believe it or not really comfy. I got two of them. So there's one for me and if we move over here, this one is for Amanda because you guys know she has her own station as well. I also moved Crystal the Flamingo into my room. She's sitting on my sewing machine here that has this beautiful cover on it. And next to Crystal is Pearl and my daughter Amanda got Pearl for me and I just love her. So they're hanging out together in the craft room. So that's something new. Also something new is that I have this book here and it's so cute and I think I want to turn it into a junk journal it's quite large but I think I can cut it to size and I just think it's so adorable and I have somebody very specific in mind that I want to make that for so that's kind of new all right my friends I think that's it I hope you have a wonderful day today and um, as always thanks for watching see you soon